Have you ever been in a dilemma when you've had to name a pet? Hi everyone, I'm Milene from English Made Easy. I'm an English teacher bringing you practical, simple and interesting lessons to make learning English a happy task. If that's what you're looking for, do subscribe to my channel. One great way to learn English is through poetry. As the British poet Edward Young said, and I quote, there is something about poetry beyond prose logic. Poems can help you learn new words and improve your vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation. The poem I'm going to do today is called Choosing Their Names by Thomas Hood. In this poem, the poet is trying to name his kittens. He takes their color and behavior into consideration while thinking of a name for each one. Don't we all do the same? So let's see what the poem is about. It's called Choosing Their Names by Thomas Hood. Choosing Their Names. Choosing their names. Our old cat has kittens three. What do you think their names should be? One is tabby with emerald eyes and a tail that's long and slender. And into a temper she quickly flies if you ever by chance offend her. I think we shall call her this. I think we shall call her that. Now, don't you think that Pepper Pot is a nice name for a cat? One is black with a frill of white and her feet are all white fur. If you stroke her, she carries her tail upright and quickly begins to purr. I think we shall call her this. I think we shall call her that. Now, don't you think that Sutakin is a nice name for a cat? One is a tortoise shell, yellow and black, with plenty of white about him. If you tease him, at once he sets up his back. He's a quarrelsome one, ne'er doubt him. I think we shall call him this. I think we shall call him that. Now, don't you think that scratch away is a nice name for a cat? So let's go through the poem once more. Choosing their names. T H E I R is pronounced as their, not bia. That's what I normally hear. Choosing their names. Our old cat has kittens three, three kittens. What do you think their names should be? Now he's describing the cats to us, the kittens rather. One is Tabby with emerald eyes. What does Tabby mean? Tabby is a gray or brownish cat. So the color of the cat is gray or brown and it has dark stripes. Also, it has emerald eyes. Emerald is a precious stone and it's bright green in color. It's a green eyed cat. And a tail that's long and slender, long and thin. And into a temper she quickly flies he gets angry very fast if you ever by chance offend her. If you make her angry, if you do something she doesn't like, she will fly into a temper at once. I think we shall call her this. I think we shall call her that. So the poet is thinking about this and that. Now, don't you think that Pepper Pot is a nice name for a cat? He decides that he should call her Pepper Pot. Pepper, Pepper is that spice, the black colored round spice that we use. This is the second verse. One is black with a frill of white. What's a frill? It's a strip of material that is sewn onto a fabric to decorate it. So one is black, a black cat with a frill of white and her feet are all white fur. If you stroke her, if you pet her, she carries her tail upright. She makes her tail stand straight and quick 
softly begins to purr. Purr is the sound that a cat makes when it's happy. I think we shall call her this. I think we shall call her that. Again, the poet is wondering what he should call her. And then he decides, now don't you think that Sutakin is a nice name for a cat? Do you think that Sutakin is a nice name for a cat? I personally don't think so. So why Sutakin? What's soot? It comes from the word soot. Soot is a deep powdery black substance that you get when you burn wood. Here's the third verse. One is a tortoise shell, pronounced as tortoise, not tortoise, tortoise. One is a tortoise shell, yellow and black, with plenty of white about him. So he's a kind of a white cat with yellow and black. If you tease him at once, he sets up his back, like you see in the picture. He's a quarrelsome one. That means he's ready to fight all the time. Ne'er doubt him. Why ne'er? Ne'er is actually never. Never doubt him. The poet has left out the letter V and so that single the inverted commas put over there. Ne'er doubt him. And the only reason that he's done this is so that the rhythm is maintained. If you tease him at once, he sets up his back. He's a quarrelsome one. Ne'er doubt him. See that? If the poet had to write never, then the rhythm would be a little out of tune. I think we shall call him this. I think we shall call him that. Now, don't you think that scratch away is a nice name for a cat? Well, why scratch away? Because he probably gets angry and scratches a lot. Do you agree with all, do you like these names that the poet has chosen? Pepper pot, sutikin, scratch away. Unique names, don't you think so? Well, I hope you enjoyed the poem and I hope you have learned from it as well. For now, I'll end here and we'll meet again soon. Cheerio.